Mr. Commissioner, ladies and gentlemen. In September 29, a New York investment firm placed an advertisement to attract savings. It briefly told the history of the Mississippi bubble, wild speculation in the early 18th century, and then said, and I quote, today it is inexcusable to buy a bubble, inexcusable because unnecessary. For today, every investor has at his disposal facilities for obtain, obtaining the facts. These facts will substitute the sound principles of investment for the hazards of speculation, so, so said the ad. The men and women who believed this and rushed, the, uh, and rushed into the invest their savings, but they were disappointed quickly, just once, one month later, by the great October 29 stock market crash. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a pleasure and an honor to give the opening address of this 2010 edition of the Brussels Economic Forum. Judging by the program, it looks like you are going to have a very stimulating day and a half. Some of you may recognize the advertisement I just referred to. One finds it in the recent book by Reinhardt and Rogoff, This Time is Different, Eight Centuries of Financial Folly. The book is widely acclaimed, and rightly so. The title is ironic, of course. The author's central claim is that the risk of financial crisis has been systematically underestimated throughout history until today. Every generation of, econo of economists and policy makers believes it has ended the cycle of boom and bust. The reasons and words may vary. From today we have the facts in 29 to now we have securitized that in 2007. But the refrain is the same. This time is different. Every generation believes that. And well, more than one generation has been disappointed in this belief. The book surely makes for sobering reading. Why do I mention it? because it helps us to put things into perspective. In the light of this long history of financial follies, we, one can de-dramatize today's discussion on the public debt crisis. Accidentally, the recent events have put into question the very title of this conference, Strategies for Post-Crisis World. That looks a bit optimist today. Are we already after the crisis? Maybe not, or not yet. I prefer to speak about the post-recession period. By all means, the timing of today's and tomorrow's forum is apt. After a tense period culminating in the weekend of 7 to 8, 9 May, the European Union has itself bought time. Time for reflection and time for action. Let us use it well, politicians, economists, all of us. Before we are post-crisis, we need to get there. Therefore, I should like today to share some thoughts on the current crisis of public debt. I will do so, will do so in three points. Firstly, how did the European Union deal with this crisis? Second issue, what lessons should be drawn from this crisis? in terms of economic policy? And third issue, what lessons should we draw in general political terms? What does it mean for the state of European integration? 